It is December 16th, 2025, and we're tracking the chance for heavy rainfall and isolated thunderstorms. The National Weather Service has issued a flood watch over the western half of the state that will continue throughout Thursday afternoon. Hey everybody, meteorologist Drew Davis alongside with you. We've got a no hype weather forecast video for you today, like we do every weekday on this YouTube channel. Let's just get right into it. There's a lot to talk about. I want to take a look at our first alert radar and satellite, show you what's going on out there. Again, we've been talking about this cold front that's off towards the northwest of us. It's slowly moving in closer to the island chain as we're going into late tonight. This is going to stall around Kauai and Oahu, much like this first front that we saw on Monday that created a lot of rainfall for the Honolulu Marathon on Oahu and then heavy rainfall and thunderstorms over Kauai on Monday. This front, again, is going to continue moving down the island chain as we're going into later this week. So this is going to continue moving in down towards Kauai tonight, closer to Oahu throughout Wednesday afternoon, stall, and then start moving back up towards the northwest and falling apart as we're going into Thursday and Friday. Right now, we're not expecting a ton of rainfall for Maui County and Hawaii Island. We could see some pop-up showers because of these southerly winds we're tracking out there. There's enough instability in the atmosphere during the afternoon. We might be seeing some pop-up showers moving in from the south. We saw that today over parts of Maui County. There's also a few sprinkles just offshore of the eastern portions of the island. Also a few showers moving in towards the Puna district of Hawaii Island, closer to Kalapana out there. Also, this cold front again that we've been talking about is off towards the northwest. It's attached to this low pressure system that you can see. Very text textbook. It's a counterclockwise rotation out there. This is going to continue moving off towards the east and northeast over the next couple of days orphaning this front over the western half of the state. So here's what we're tracking. Again, a flood watch up for Oahu and Kauai and Ni'ihau that's going to continue throughout Thursday afternoon. Heavy rainfall, isolated thunderstorms out there. Sunshine and light trades are expected to return as we're going into this weekend. Long range models are hinting that we'll be seeing a drier weather pattern going into next week. So for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, it looks to be much nicer than what we're seeing outside right now. So breaking down the overall weather pattern. Here's a look at the big picture. Again, this low pressure system at the surface we've been tracking. This is what's causing that cold front out there that's starting to slowly creep in closer to us. This is going to continue moving down to Kauai and Oahu later tonight. Like I mentioned, the surface low is going to move up towards the northeast and it's going to leave that cold front hanging around us throughout Thursday. Start to see high pressure building back in as we're going into Sunday. So technically, we'll be seeing the trade winds, light trade winds by the time we get to Saturday and Sunday, a little bit more easterly out there. Again, a little bit higher up in the atmosphere. We've got this cutoff low. This is the mid-level flow. This has help, been helping develop that surface low pressure just downstream of this. Again, we've been seeing divergence in the atmosphere. So air from the surface is rushing upwards to fill the void left by the divergence at the mid-levels. This also is going to continue moving away as we're going into Wednesday and Thursday. But you notice it still hangs out throughout Wednesday and Thursday. I'll allowing that uh, development of heavy rainfall. We could be seeing heavy rainfall over Oahu going into Wednesday afternoon. This again goes into Thursday and Friday. Starting to go into this weekend, we start to see ridging develop back over the island chain at mid-levels, also starting to creep back up towards the northwest. So we start to see the trade winds return, a little bit of a drier weather pattern out there. This is also happening at the upper levels. We've got this low, this trough that's been hanging out just to the northwest of us, divergence just downstream of this trough out there supporting the development of that low pressure system and potentially heavy rainfall along the frontal boundary going forward into this weekend this is still hanging around throughout thursday and friday then we start to see the ridging the higher pressure developing going into saturday and sunday creeping back up towards the northwest out there potentially giving us a uh a, a good nice weekend surface uh surface trades it's going to be really nice out there going into saturday and sunday and hopefully it'll give us a little bit of a break from the rainfall because it's been raining it's been raining all over Kauai and oahu it's been very active uh been beneficial but i was hoping some of that rainfall would make its way to maui county and hawaii island not a ton of rainfall just those passing showers uh let's break down uh the future radar out there again we're tracking kind of two things out there we've got a converging band ahead of the front and the actual front. The convergent band is going to continue hanging around Oahu and then the actual front you can see is going to be moving in towards Kauai later tonight. So let's play this out. This continues to move in and then we start to see that remnants of the old front colliding with this new front 
popping up with some heavier showers over Kauai and Oahu throughout Wednesday, going into Thursday afternoon. Like I mentioned, this front is expected to move back up towards the northwest throughout Thursday, falling apart throughout Friday. Still showers out there. Saturday and Sunday looking to be pretty nice. Hopefully we'll be seeing a little bit of windward rainfall out there as the trade winds return, so a few showers across the Windward and Melka areas of each island. Here's a look at our first alert future cast going forward into the next couple of days at the local level. You can see over the western half of the state, you're seeing these showers popping up. A few of them could get heavy throughout Wednesday. You're seeing that develop midday around Oahu, just to the west of Oahu. So these could be moving onshore, and then they continue to hang around just in between Kauai and Oahu in the channel right there. And then Thursday, still hanging around the cold front is orphaned over the western half of the state, starts to creep back up towards the northwest. Again, a few pop-up showers are possible for Maui County, for Maui, with these southerly winds, these southeasterly winds that we'll be seeing. But overall, it's going to be relatively light rainfall. That's also true for Hawaii Island. Going into Friday, starting to see clearing skies. Saturday and Sunday, very nice windward showers, trade winds back in the forecast, so it'll be pretty nice weekend for everybody. Again, the GFS, the American model out there, you are seeing a few showers moving in. Late tonight, heavier possible over Kauai, potentially heavier showers developing over Oahu around midday tomorrow, hanging around throughout late Wednesday night into Thursday. Then the front starts to recede back up towards the northwest. You can see that going on as we're going into late Friday and then clearing skies, windward showers, if anything, going into Saturday and Sunday. Here's a look at our rainfall totals from yesterday. Again, if you're new, we have partnered with the Hawaii Climate Data Portal to show you some awesome data visualizations. This is just one of the data visualizations that we've gotten to work in our system. Uh, it's from yesterday, December 15th. Again, we didn't see much rainfall over Hawaii Island. We didn't see much rainfall over Maui County, but we did see some showers over Oahu along the Waianae Mountain Range, the Ko'olau Mountain Range, a few showers over near Pearl City, Pearl Harbor, and then moving over to Kauai, where we had that moisture band set up over the western half of the state, moving southwest to southeast. It really, it looked like this. It just kept kept coming. The rain kept coming over the northwestern and leeward portions of the island, really bringing some heavy rainfall down there, up to two and a half inches of rainfall along Mount Waialeale -Ale out there. Just definitely needed, especially with the ongoing drought. So again, we need the rainfall. I'm hoping that we get a wet season event within the next couple of months that really brings some rainfall to Maui County and Hawaii Island. A quick look at our rainfall accumulation map as well. This is not showing as much rainfall that is possible. Anywhere between one to two inches of rain is possible over Kauai and Oahu out there. Some of these heavier showers could drop as much as half an inch to an inch of rainfall per hour. So heavier rainfall totals, higher rainfall totals are possible, but going throughout Thursday, the European weather model in Honolulu, Kaneohe, Waipahu shows anywhere between an inch and a half, or a half an inch to an inch. Kauai, about a half an inch, but again, it's going to be relatively scattered. It's not going to be completely for everybody, not going to be a complete washout, but we could be seeing some areas with much higher rainfall totals, and we need that. Of course, uh, flooding is still a concern with the how saturated the ground is after this past weekend's event. So uh, still watching for flooding out there and those areas that do see the heavier showers, heavier downpours develop. Thunderstorm coverage mostly focused over Ni'ihau, Kauai, and Oahu. Again, the timeline for that being tonight through Thursday. And of course, this is all being fueled by the southerly winds out there. You can kind of see where the front is right now. The front, again, you're seeing winds kind of shift from being out of the southeast over the eastern half of the state and then getting to be southwesterly ahead of the front. That's exactly where the front is right there. These southerly winds have just been pulling up moisture and instability up from our south the past couple of days, priming the atmosphere for the chance for heavy rainfall and, and uh, thunderstorms out there. When we see the instability getting pulled up like this, that's when we're watching for the threat for thunderstorms pretty breezy southerly winds as well that are going to stick around Wednesday afternoon southwesterlies between 10 to 15 miles per hour Thursday a little bit weaker they're going to be weaker on Friday Saturday and Sunday you're starting to see the trade winds return our first alert VOG forecast again we're still seeing light VOG over the northern portions of Hawaii Island and Maui so again this is relatively light VOG is still seeping out of Halima'uma'u crater this is sulfur dioxide specifically what I'm showing you right here also other sulfate aerosols are leaking out of the vent in Halima'uma'u crater so it might not be completely visible out there but you might be able to feel it 
especially if you're over the eastern half of the state. So Hilo, the Hamakua Coast, Waikoloa, Kailua Kona, Puna, Pahoa, still seeing some light fog out there. Maybe a little bit cl clearer along the Puna side of Hawaii Island. Uh, and then also moving up towards Maui as we're going throughout Wednesday and Thursday. Winds, again, are going to get more easterly as we're going into this weekend, which might blow some of that fog that moves up to our north, off towards the east, or out of the east, and towards the west. Surf and shoreline forecast, north-facing shores around 8 to 12, west-facing shores around 5 to 7 for your Wednesday morning. Uh, an advisory level swell is expected to move in on north-facing shores as we're going into Wednesday. Small craft advisory up along the coastal waters of Kauai and the northern waters, the coastal waters of Oahu that starts at midnight till tonight and will last until midnight on Thursday. And of course, our swell forecast, you see that energy moving in as we're going into Wednesday for north-facing shores. Another one could be moving in for northwest-facing shores on Thursday. Potentially another northern swell that could be coming in Sunday morning. So again, some more opportunities for surf out on north and west-facing shores. Not a ton of surf in town or on south-facing shores. Our island-by-island -island forecast for Kauai. Showers are likely, mostly cloudy conditions out there. South and southwesterly winds between 10 to 15 miles per hour. Moving down to Oahu, partly sunny out there. 82 in town, waking up around 74. 72 over in Kaneohe for a low temperature tomorrow. Southerly winds between 10 to 20 miles per hour over parts of Maui County, gusting higher to 25. Notice the further east you go, more sunshine, a few showers possible over Molokai and Lanai. Sunny and Kailua Kona, Waikoloa around 83, Captain Cook around 85. Spending to the Hilo side, around 85 for a high temperature in Hilo Town. Pahoa around 80, waking up around 66, so a little bit cool out there. The northern portions of Hawaii Island, spotty evening showers, a little bit sunny, calm winds becoming more westerly in the evening. So again, there's just a lot going on. We're seeing a few lightning strikes actually on our first alert radar and satellite, at least over the last four hours. That's been around Oahu, and again, we're going to continue to see this develop as this front's moving down. So we got to keep an eye on the radar. we got to babysit the radar over the next couple of days. So thank you for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe. Smash the notification bell. Comment where you're watching from down in the comments below. Also, if you have anything you want me to work on, anything that you want me to include in these videos, I am reading all of the comments, and I appreciate the, uh, the support we've been receiving so far, and I appreciate kind of the community that's going on in the comments. It's really cool to see everybody tuning in every day. Uh, so thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really, really appreciate it. So I will see you tomorrow, weather permitting. Stay dry. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. This has been Meteorologist Drew Davis.